in this list of 20 of the top producing silver nations in the world, there are going to be a couple of surprises. But wait until you see number four. I'll explain that one. And we're going to talk a little bit about silver mining and how amazing silver is in this video. So I hope you will stick around as we explore. Silver, as we know, is an extremely valuable metal in terms of uh, its uses. It is the most versatile metal on the periodic table. So it is very valuable for a myriad of applications out there. We know it includes many different various industries, including electronics, jewelry, and medicine. It's very much a popular uh, asset for many of us because we're stacking more and more these days. In fact, that is quite uh, encouraging to see more and more stackers come into the fold, and that is something that cannot be ignored. But it's the industrial applications and the versatility that the metal has that I think makes it an attractive option for those of us who want to um, hedge against economic instability. And uh, But we also have to understand what that means in terms of uh, the overall global economy as well as national economies. And I think this is why this video, I think, is going to be quite eye-opening and revealing as we see uh, and learn about these top producing uh, countries. So let's start. And I'm taking this from a, a website called usfunds.com that talks about some of the numbers with the regards to the biggest silver producing uh, countries in the world. The first nation up is Mexico. Yes, indeed. That's right. The Mexican Libertad is represented here. Uh, it's a beautiful coin, and, and there's something about Mexican silver that is certainly special. And because most silver is mined out of Mexico, and there's a lot of interest in Mexico. In fact, I've heard some talk about, uh, you know, that there is some unrest in terms of uh, silver mines, silver miners going on strike down there. Um, I haven't a lot of heard of that. That's mostly in the comments section, but I've not done a lot of research on that, but... But right now, the, we have seen a year-over-year -year increase of 2% between 2021 and 2022, with 196 million ounces mined in 2021 out of Mexico and 199.2 million ounces mined in 2022. So that's Mexico. They're number one on the list. And how many of you uh, have a Libertad in your collection in one form or another? It is definitely high premium silver to stack because the, the mintage of these are about 300,000 per year. Number two, and really this should not be much of a surprise, but it is China. China is a number two uh, silver mining uh, country in the world with uh, 112.9 million ounces mined in 2021 and 111.8 ounces mined in 2022. Uh, they actually have gone down a little bit. I think that's largely due to, you know, the pandemic and a lot of uh, a lot of resources have been strained during that time. So they're actually down one percent uh, year over year. Let's take a look at number three, Peru. No surprise there either, because Peru is being in Central America. You know, that's where the the Silver Mountain is, right? The Mountain of Silver, famously there. But believe it or not, they've seen a 7% year-over-year decline in production over there in Peru. I don't have a Peruvian silver coin to show you here, but I really wish they would come up with a bullion coin that was uh, popular since they are one of the top producing countries of silver every year. So in 2022, they produced 107 million ounces. But in 2021, they produced 115.5 million ounces. So that's number three, Peru. Here comes number four. This is the shocker, folks. It is Poland. Yeah, believe it or not, Poland is the fourth producing silver country in the world. And mainly propped up by one silver mine that is doing it. So let's go through the numbers and I'll tell you a little bit about that silver mine. They have a 1% increase year over year in production. In 2021, they produced 42 million ounces of silver. 
In 2022, they produced 42.4. So again, a 1% increase. And I don't have a Polish silver coin here. You know, so I wish more of these nations would come up with their own bullion coins you know, that were popular. But the closest thing I can find uh, to Poland would be the Austra Austrian Philharmonic here. Uh, a lovely coin. I actually like this coin a lot. It is, it is I think, the only coin with a reeded edge. Um, are we with a smooth edge here? We do have other coins that have um, uh, varying types of edges, but mostly they're reeded throughout. The only one would be the Chinese. They have a slanted reeded edge, which I think is unique, and I think that is actually somewhat of a security feature for the Chinese panda. But so, what makes Poland so special? Well, uh, KGHM is the world's largest silver mine there in Cuba. I mean, in Poland, yes, indeed, KGHM was ranked first among the world's largest silver mines in the World Silver Survey from 2021 and turned in the category of largest silver producers. The Polish giant came in second place. So, yes, indeed. In fact, back in 2020, the KGHM Capital Group uh, produced 1,352 tons of silver. Wow. Pretty amazing. Uh, that's what they had produced. There's, uh, that is the remarkable thing about Poland and why they stand out. Uh, very special country, indeed, with the largest silver mine uh, in the world. Let's move ahead to number five. No surprise here, another Latin American country. Uh, South America here, it is Chile. That's right. Chile had a, the biggest, one of the biggest increases that we've seen year over year with 2022 producing 41.9 million ounces. In 2021, they produced 41.2 million. That's a 6% year-over-year increase over there in Chile. Let's move on now to number six. That's Russia. Russia also had, over the course of the two years, 2021 and 22, a 6% increase. 41.1 million ounces in 2022 and 39 million ounces in 2021, making Russia fall in at number six. Now in number seven, another Latin American country, Bolivia, is number seven. There's a lot of silver in the Americas, no question about it, but they had the one of the biggest drops so far uh, with a 7% loss year over year. In 2022, they produced 38.7 million ounces. In 2021, they produced 41.5. Moving ahead now to uh, number eight on the list, we have got Australia. That's right, Australia as represented here with their first real bullion coin uh, that is produced on an annual basis, complete with a lot of milk spots. This is the Australian kangaroo. It's a very, very milky, but uh, it's a nice coin. It's cheap too, and uh, but it is very, very milky, but it is from the number eight producing nation in the world. They have the biggest drop so far in terms of... Uh, Production year over year with a 10% drop. In 2022, they produced 38.5 million ounces. In 2021, Australia produced 42.8 million ounces of silver. So that's number eight on the list. Now let's move ahead and forward to number nine. Yeah, it is the good old US of A. And many people would have thought that maybe the United States would be uh, higher up on the list, but indeed we are not. I think that has a lot to do with environmental um, restrictions and uh, probably likely on some of the mines that we see unique here. But um, uh, starting with the 2021 uh, Silver American Eagle with the new design, they have brought milk spine to a whole new level. And it shows right on through uh, with the, as you can see in the angle here, with their coins here, even though they have sort of a matte finish to it, there's no hiding the milky spots here on this. And of course, most of you know my thoughts on the on the reverse of this coin. But nonetheless, there is the Silver American Eagle. And as we press forward, the United States has dropped production year over year between 21 and 22, uh, down 1%. And uh, they are sitting at 32.4 million ounces mined in 2022. And they had 32.6 million ounces mined in 2021 or produced. Now the 10th is Argentina, another South American country. And we can see that the Western Hemisphere 
is definitely famous for silver. They had the largest year-over-year -year increase between 21 and 22, with 30.9 million ounces produced in 2022, and in 2021 it was 27.9 million ounces. Number 11 is India. Yeah, India is there on the list. They're producing a lot more because there is more in demand than we've seen over the last couple of years. Uh, but they've, uh, with that being said, I'm actually surprised there's not more produced uh, year over year, only 1% increase. In 2021, they produced 22.2 million ounces. And in 2022, they produced 22.3 million ounces. So that's number 11 with India. Moving ahead, we have Kazakhstan, surprisingly enough. Now, this is a large country by land area. But nonetheless, not the largest economy in the world, but there is a lot of silver mining that goes on there in silver production. They had 15 million ounces produced in 2021 and 14.8 in 2022, with a 1% decline year over year. Sweden, another European country, uh, has the held number 13, with a 6% year-over-year increase, with 14.8 million ounces produced in 2022, and in 2021, it was 13.9. Moving forward to Indonesia, they have had a 11% increase. Yeah, one of the tops so far that we've done on this list, with 11.4 million ounces produced in 2022, and 10.2 million ounces in 2021. We then have Canada, that's right, as represented here by the Canadian Maple Leaf, which used to be famous for their milk spots until 2018 when the mint shield uh, effect or technology came into being. This 2015 silver uh, Maple Leaf has, has escaped most spotting issues. So I'm going to be very careful with this coin, but yes, indeed. Uh, the Maple Leaf uh, Four Nines Pure Silver, one of the first purest silver coins produced um, in the world, but they have had a 5% drop year over year in silver production. Where does that leave them? That leaves them at 8.7 million ounces produced in 2022 and 9.1 million ounces produced in 2021. Marching forward to Morocco. Yes, indeed, the pentagram country, the upside down pentagram country, their flag is a red flag with a green pentagram, Christmas pentagram flag. Morocco has, and it's also on their coins, the upside down pentagram. But nonetheless, they have a 6% year over year uh, production of silver with 2022 producing 8.5 million ounces. And in 2021, they produced 8 million ounces. Marching ahead to country number 17, Uzbekistan, another Central Asian country large land area, but nonetheless, uh, they are a producer in the top 20, 3% increase with 7 million produced in 2022 and 6.8 million produced uh, in 2021. 6.8 million ounces of silver for Uzbekistan. Number 18 is Turkey. That's right, Turkey, famous for hoarding gold under their mattresses. They also are a top producing nation of silver, surprisingly enough, but they have had the largest drop year over year in production with a 14% drop because in 2021, they produced 5.5 million ounces of silver, but in 2022, it was only 4.7 uh, million ounces. Moving ahead to number 19, we're getting closer now. It's the Dominican Republic, amazingly enough, yeah. This is another shocker, but uh, they are on the list. And it is because of a big mining operation that is going on there in the Dominican Republic, surprisingly enough. But they have the largest drop year over year with 3.4 million ounces produced in 2021 and only 2.9 million ounces of silver produced in 2022. Last on the list is Panama. Oh yeah, Panama, we love Panama. And, uh, and so does Van Halen, but nonetheless, they have one of the largest increases year over year, uh, production of silver, 12% increase. In 2021, they produced 2.5 million ounces, and in 2022, they produced 2.8 million ounces. Uh, the list topping off with another Central American country in the Western Hemisphere. So now, when we look at everything else all around the world, 
We have had a 2% increase for the rest of the world with 40.4 million ounces produced in 2022 and 39.7 million ounces in 2021. So there it is. So what does that mean for the global total? All, of, all around the world, there was about a negative 1% drop in production year over year. Uh, so there was 827.6 million ounces produced in 2021. In 2022, there was 822.4 million ounces of silver produced. There, there you go. Pretty amazing indeed. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.